Hi everyone, welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs, where we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. Before I start with the first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified about all our upcoming videos. And if you want the free PDF of this very session, you can join the Telegram group. Link is in the description below. We provide the free PDFs on that very group. So now let's start with the first question, which says, SEBI has come out with a framework for operationalizing the gold exchange, wherein the gold will be traded in the form of which instrument? So various times I have discussed about the concept of gold exchange that SEBI was looking forward to come with a gold exchange, start with the trading of the electronic gold receipts, then uh, it came up with the proposal where entire framework was suggested as to how the gold exchange will be operationalized and now finally it ha it is out with the framework to operationalize the gold exchange jo pehle proposals aaye the ab us framework ko finally operationalize kar, kar diya gaya hai and sebi has in detail discussed that operationalized framework again so we are going to cover that so which instrument is going to be traded? See, this gold exchange will help in the trading of the gold in an electronic form. Rather than physically having gold, we can trade in the gold related securities. So electronic gold receipts are the instruments which will be created and will be traded on the gold exchange. हम लोग जो फिजिकल गोल्ड देंगे उसके बदले इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गोल्ड रिसीट्स क्रिएट होंगी जो सिक्योरिटीज की तरह स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस में ट्रेड होंगी सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गोल्ड रिसीट्स नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस फ्रेमवर्क सो सेबी हैज ऑपरेशनलाइज्ड द फ्रेमवर्क फॉर द गोल्ड एक्सचेंज वेयर द येलो मेटल द येलो मेटल मींस द गोल्ड विल बी ट्रेडेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ईजीआरस द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गोल्ड रिसीट्स and the stock exchanges which want to trade these egrs on their platform they need the sebi approval for the same okay so sebi se approval leke stock exchanges electronic gold receipts ko apne usi exchange mein ek new segment mein trade kar payenge so within that exchange in a new segment these receipts will be traded and the new framework will come into force from the immediate effect now coming to a brief background about the same how we can see that the sebi has actually started with the uh, started operationalizing the framework see in december a notification came out where electronic gold receipts were declared as the securities under the securities contract act okay so jo securities hoti hain usme egrs ko bhi include kar diya gaya tha then sebi came up with another you know, notification where it notified the sebi vault manager regulations so those regulations focused on creating the egrs so these are some initiatives which sebi has been taking to give a push to the uh, gold exchange okay and now finally the framework to oper operationalize this is out sebi is the one who will be regulating this gold exchange the entire system from vaulting to assaying gold quality to fixing the delivery standard see you need to deposit the physical gold needs to be deposited in the vaults the place where it is stored is the vaults and in exchange of that the electronic gold receipts will be created which will be traded so all the things like keeping the gold safely in the vaults checking the quality of the gold setting up the standard quality for the gold all that is taken care of by sebi and the sebi is the body which will regulate this exchange Now coming to the framework. अब हम लोग इसका फ्रेमवर्क डिस्कस करते हैं सो so, सबसे पहले फ्रेमवर्क में बात की गई है इंस्ट्रूमेंट की विच इंस्ट्रूमेंट विल बी ट्रेड ऑन द एक्सचेंज एज वी हैव डिस्कस द ई जी आर इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ द फिजिकल गोल्ड द ई जी आर विल बी क्रिएटेड एंड द न्यू एक्सचेंजेस एज वेल एज एग्जिस्टिंग एक्सचेंजेस कैन लॉन्च दीज ई जी आर विद अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द सेबी इन अ न्यू सेगमेंट ओके देन coming to the structure of the transactions so the entire transactions in these gold exchanges have been divided into three tranches teen parts mein divide kiya gaya hai in gold exchange ki transactions ko so what are those first uh, four, four, those three tranches first is that the electronic gold receipts will be created so in exchange for the physical gold the egrs will be created that is the first tranche so on the supply of gold the vault manager will basically create the egrs second tranche is where these securities will or these um egrs will be traded so on the exchange the trading will be done the clearing and settlement 
the clearing house will be there which will performing the clearing and settlement whosoever is buying the securities they will be deliver the securities in their in their uh, electronic account and those who are selling it they will be provided with the money so that will be dealt under second branch and under the third branch if the person who has created that who had got that eji created he wants back the gold then uh, the physical delivery of gold will take place from the vault managers end and that eji which was created against that gold will then be cancelled okay so this is the third branch where the eji will be converted back to physical gold so let's discuss these branches one by one in the first tranche, as we have just discussed, first of all, the EGRs need to be created. Physical gold ke badle ek electronic gold receipt create hogi. So the vault manager on receiving the physical gold will record the information in the common interface and create the EGR. So when I talk about common interface, a common platform will be created by the depositories who will uh, that and that platform is going to connect together the vault managers the stock exchanges the depositories so a common platform create kiya jayega jisse ki interact kar payenge sab vault managers sub stock exchanges sub depositories okay depositories are the ones who are holding these uh, securities in the dematerialized form so vault manager ko jab gold milega to uske badle wo egr create karega aur usko उससे रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रॉपरली रिकॉर्ड की जाएगी कॉमन इंटरफेस में शेयर की जाएगी सो दैट ऑल अदर्स आल्सो गेट टू नो अबाउट दैट देन द वॉल्ट मैनेजर नीड्स टू इंश्योर दैट नो ईजीआर इज क्रिएटेड विदाउट कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग फिजिकल गोल्ड इन वॉल्ट सो जब तक गोल्ड नहीं आता वॉल्ट में टिल द टाइम गोल्ड कम्स टू द वॉल्ट बिफोर दैट नो ईजी आर कैन बी क्रिएटेड जब फिजिकल गोल्ड आ जाएगा उसके अगेंस्ट ईजी आर क्रिएट किया जाएगा एंड विदाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ गोल्ड नो ईजी आर विल बी क्रिएटेड and once the egr is created it will be reflected in the dmat account of the beneficial owner maintained with the depository participant so depository participant is the agent of the depository who on behalf of depository holds your securities in the electronic form in the dmat account okay so once you have deposited the physical gold and again that an egr is created for you then that egr will reflect in your dmat account ki aapne itna physical gold diya tha uske badle egr create hua wo aapke account mein रिफ्लेक्ट होगा कि आप इतने ईजीआर्स के होल्डर हो जैसे डीमेट अकाउंट में हमारी सिक्योरिटीज आ जाती है ना जो हम खरीदते हैं ऐसे ही ईजीआर्स होंगे अब then the depository will make necessary action to make egrs tradable on stock exchange so jo depository hai wo fir further aapko egr stock exchange mein trade karne mein help karega and the vault manager and the depository will regularly reconcile the data on the egrs collected and corresponding gold line in the vaults so once the egrs are collect, are uh, created and they are being traded time to time the vault manager and depository will reconcile whether the egr which has been created of some physical gold Gold is existing against that in the vaults or not. So time to time checking will also be done. This is the first tranche. Coming to the second tranche, so it talks about trading of the EGRs on the stock exchange. Stock exchanges me EGRs trade honge. Existing stock exchanges ya koi new stock exchange bhi aate hai baad mein agar to wo new segment me EGRs ko trade kar payenge. Clearing corporation hogi jo aapki settlement me help karegi, uh, providing the securities to the buyer and uh, ones who are selling it, providing them with the necessary money and transferring the EGRs will be the role of clearing corporation. Then coming to the third tranche. Now, if the owner of EGR wants back the physical gold, he can make a request for the same to the depository. वो अपने depository को request करेगा. Depository further vault manager को inform करेगा. Depository will inform the vault manager, and vault manager will then hand over the physical gold by extinguishing such EGR. जो EGR created था, उसको extinguish करके physical gold का hand over करेगा vault manager, and he will basically enter that data, and the depository will also Send that data. जो वॉल्ट मैनेजर है वो ये डेटा डिपॉजिटरी के साथ शेयर करेगा डिपॉजिटरी विल फर्दर शेयर दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन विद स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एंड द क्लियरिंग कॉर्पोरेशन सो प्रॉपर रिकॉर्ड ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ ईजियाज ऑफ कैंसलेशन ऑफ ईजियाज वेन द फिजिकल गोल्ड इज गिवन एवरी थिंग विल बी डन प्रॉपरली एंड से बी इज गोइंग टू रेगुलेट ऑल दिस All right. So we discussed that a common interface will be created where all vault managers, depositories, stock exchanges, clearing corporations can actually uh, interact. They will get to know what is happening in the exchange, whether the EGR is created, whether it is converted back to physical gold. So a common place ke through wo sara interaction hoga. And then coming to the trading and the product denomination. So these uh, EGRs will be traded same way like the securities are traded and 
the denomination talking about the denominations so stock exchanges can launch this with different denominations alag alag denomination ke ejas launch kiye ja sakte hain against different uh, quantity of gold being provided then coming to the another coming to one more important thing which is fungibility and interoperability so ejas ke case mein fungibility or interoperability allow ki gayi hai and that is going to reduce the overall cost of withdrawing the gold from vaults so we need to understand these two terms of fungibility and interoperability when i when it comes to fungibility suppose a person suppose uh, someone is depositing physical gold and against that an egr is created now that pers- similarly many people will get the egrs created okay it might happen that now the person who had created uh, who had deposited the physical gold and got egr1 created he wants back gold okay so the gold which was granted which he provided to vault at that time and now he wants to withdraw it back the same gold might not be given back to the person okay the gold which was deposited against egr1 can be delivered to a person who has got created egr2 and is withdrawing that gold iska matlab hai aapne aap person ban ho aapne gold diya egr create hua koi aur person hai usne gold deke egr create kara egr2 ab first person withdraw karne ja raha hai jab wo gold to zaruri nahi hai usne jo gold deposit kiya tha wohi gold usko wapas mile kisi aur ka deposit kiya hua gold bhi usko wapas mil sakta hai this will be insured because all the gold which is deposit the supply which is coming it's standard a standard quality is going to get maintained so there will be no problem as to whether that gold is uh, actual or not whether its quality is good is or not moreover there are people appointed at that place to check the quality of gold as well so no reference number will be allotted to the gold and uh, gold deposited against one egr can be withdrawn against other egr so that is what has been mentioned over here that the egs created by the vault manager shall not be linked with the unique reference number of physical gold and gold which is deposited against one egr can be delivered against conversion of egr2 into gold then talking about interoperability now the person might have deposited gold with one vault manager and would have got that egr created he might now be residing at some other place or he might be at some other place and he wants to withdraw back the gold at that place so that interoperability is there aapne ek vault manager ke sath gold deposit karke egr create kara aap kisi aur vault manager ke through kisi aur jagah pe jo ko located hai unse apna wo withdraw kar sakte ho so interoperability will be there next coming to the last part of this framework disclosing of the charges so now you are storing the gold with the vaults then if you are withdrawing this so vault uh, managers are going to charge you for the same okay they are not going to bear all the charges storage withdrawal charges will be collected from you and uh, the by these will be levied by the vault managers and depository will collect it from the egr owners okay and beforehand only the information will be made public that how much are the charges for the same moreover now when you are withdrawing back your gold okay now you want to check whether that gold is pure which you have deposited the same is being provided to you or you want to trans- get that gold transported somewhere so all those charges will also be borne by you the clearing corporation will impanel the assaying agencies ones who are going to check the gold quality so if the beneficial owner at the time of withdrawal is incurring those char- getting those if that kind of purity check done then he needs to pay for the same moreover the charges related to transportation agar unko chahiye ki hamara gold aap hum tak pahuncha rahe ho uska transport charges aayenge to wo bhi sab aapke beneficial owner ko hi pay karne padenge and the charges will beforehand only be disclosed as well okay now coming to the next question related to this sebi would regulate the entire ecosystem of the gold exchange where the structure of transactions should be divided into dash tranches so we have just discussed three tranches answer is option b now coming to the next topic and the third question that says statement 1 sebi as a securities market watchdog and regulator keeps a check on the wrongdoings in such market so this statement is absolutely correct 
सेबी जो है वो सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट का वॉच डॉक है उस पर चेक रखता है उसे रेगुलेट करता है कोई रॉन्ग डूइंग्स हो रही है तो उसके पास पावर है पेनल्टीज लगाने की पनिशमेंट्स देने की स्टेटमेंट टू से सेबी बैंड सिक्स पीपल फॉर एलेज इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म टू आर्टिफिशियली इन्फ्लुएंस स्टॉक प्राइज एंड मेक इन लीगल प्रॉफिट सेबी ने सिक्स लोगों को बैन कर दिया बिकॉज बैन कर दिया बेसिकली फ्रॉम दिस डीलिंग इन दिक्योरिटीज मार्केट बिकॉज दे वर यूजिंग द सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म रॉन्गली टू Artificially influence the prices, so वो illegally profits कमा रहे थे so SEBI के पास ये power है क्योंकि वो watchdog टॉक है वो सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट का रेगुलेटर है सो वॉच द क्वेश्चन नाउ इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ द टू स्टेटमेंट अब विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट सो बोथ द स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट सो विच ऑप्शन से सो ओनली ऑप्शन सी सो बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट एंड स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर स्टेटमेंट टू दोनों ही स्टेटमेंट सही है और सेबी ने बैन कर दिया क्यों इसकी करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन क्या है क्योंकि सेबी के पास वो पावर है करने की वो रेगुलेटर है वॉच टॉक है सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट का सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट नाउ ऑल दो दिस इज अपोथेटिकल दिस कैन बी हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशन क्रिएटेड एंड अ क्वेश्चन आज बट दिस इज एन एक्चुअल केस विच हैज रिसेंटली हैपेंड ये तो मैंने क्वेश्चन क्रिएट कर दिया आपको जनरली जो केस चल रहा है अभी उसके बारे में ना भी पता हो तब भी आप इसको आंसर कर सकते हो बट इट इज स्टिल हैपनिंग वॉट हैज हैपन रिसेंटली इज दैट सिक्स पीपल हैव बीन बैन फ्रॉम डीलिंग इन द सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट छह लोग थे जो सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट में इनलीगली प्रॉफिट्स कमा रहे थे इन्फ्लुएंस कर रहे थे आर्टिफिशियली स्टॉक प्राइजेस को सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स का यूज करके दीज सिक्स पर्सन आर मैं वो है हिमांशु महेंद्र भाई पटेल राज महेंद्र भाई पटेल जय देव जला महेंद्र भाई बेचारदास पटेल कोकिला बहन महेंद्र भाई पटेल एंड अवनि बहन किरण कुमार पटेल सो दीज सिक्स पीपल आर नाउ टेल फर्दर ऑर्डर नॉट अलाउ टू डील इन दिक्योरिटीज मार्केट इन्होंने ट्विटर टेलीग्राम का यूज करके आर्टिफिशियली स्टॉक प्राइजेस को इन्फ्लुएंस किया है बेसिकली अफेक्ट किया है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देयर अकाउंट हैव बीन इम्पाउंडेड टू अराउंड टू पॉइंट एट फोर करोड ऑफ इलिसिड गेम्स विच दे हैव गेम्ड सो दीज एंटिटीज हैव वॉयलेटेड द सेबी नॉर्म्स विच नॉर्म्स हैव बीन वॉयलेटेड प्रिवेंशन ऑफ फ्रॉड एंड रिसर्च एडवाइजर रेगुलेशन सो देर आर सम बॉडीज विच आर रजिस्टर्ड विद सेबी एंड सेबी हैज गिविंग एन द पावर दैट दे कैन डू द नेसेसरी रिसर्च एंड सजेस्ट अदर्स गाइड अदर्स टू इन्वेस्ट इन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म सो अलग अलग ब्रोकर्स होते हैं अलग अलग प्लेटफॉर्म्स ऑनलाइन क्रिएटेड हैं जो सेबी के साथ रजिस्टर्ड है जो रिसर्च करते हैं प्रॉपर और आपको एडवाइस करते हैं कि आपको कहाँ इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए दे गिव यू स्टॉक टिप्स बट हेयर सिक्स पीपल वर नॉट रजिस्टर्ड विद सेबी एंड दे वर गिविंग दीज टिप्स थ्रू दी सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स इन ऑर्डर टू deliberately gain from the same process so that's why sebi has restricted them from trading let's see their operandi how they were working unka process process dekhte hain jaise wo work kar rahe the aur uh, illegally gains kama rahe the so what they were doing they were making the bulk purchases in the small cap companies wo bahut sari securities bulk mein khareed rahe the and they were telling uh, or sending some baseless messages related to that on the social media platform so they had around more than 50000 followers on the telegram so they were sending the messages that there is a strong possibility of immediate price hike in these securities so you should invest here jo securities wo khareed rahe the bulk mein उससे रिलेटेड वो मैसेज डाल रहे थे ग्रुप्स में कि आपको इसमें इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए सिक्योरिटी का प्राइस बहुत बढ़ने वाला है इन ऑर्डर टू इंस्टिगेट द पीपल टू बाय दैट सिक्योरिटीज सो दिस इंस्टिगेटेड देम टू टेक बुलिश पोजीशन दे वर बाइंग दिस एंड व्हेन ऑलरेडी बल्क परचेज ऑफ दैट सिक्योरिटीज हैव बीन मेड सम प्राइजेस वुड हैव रिजन सीइंग दैट पीपल गॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन investing in them because they were instigating people to invest so when numerous people are or to whether going to invest then obviously the price is actually going to rise achanak se us stock ki demand bahut zyada badh jayegi uska price badhega and when the price rises when the prices go up they used to sell their entire holding and they used to make profit so bulk mein khareed ke logo ko kehte the kharido ye stock acha hai log kharidte the price badh jata tha aur wo usko sell karke khoob sare profits kama rahe the this is what they were doing and they were not regular they are they were not registered with sebi to do so that's why sebi has uh, put a restriction on them that they are not allowed to um, trade in the securities market till further notice so investigations are going on related to this matter now coming to the next question it says 
which former RBI governor has been appointed as the vice president of Beijing based Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. So, we will discuss the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank ka role. So, recently it appointed one of the RBI's former governor as the vice president. Who is the person I am talking about? Its answer, answer is option A. Mr. Urjit Patel. These three are the former RBI governors. These two are the deputy governors. They are not the governors. So, Mr. Urjit Patel has been appointed as the vice president and uh, he has been appointed as a vice president for three year tenure for the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Talking a bit about this bank, it began its operations in 2016. So, this is not very old. In 2016, it has headquarters in China, in Beijing, and it's a multilateral development bank. And it provides the necessary support to the different nations in Asia. So, Asia may social or economic outcomes improve karne ke liye, infrastructure improve karne ke liye support provide karta hai. It invests in the infrastructure and the productive sectors of these Asian regions providing the necessary support. It ensures sustainable economic development, improve the infrastructure connectivity in Asia by investing in infrastructure and other productive sectors. So, infrastructure pe work kar hai, be it health infrastructure, be it the uh, roadways and all such kind of things the metro project so it provides the necessary support it promotes the regional cooperation and partnership in addressing the developmental challenges by working in collaboration with multilateral and bilateral development institutions so ye asian nations may cooperation promote karta hai unke jo bhi major challenges are infrastructure wo support karta hai dusri agencies ke saath dusri institutions ke saath collaborate karke bhi provide karta hai support like recently uh, in collaboration with the asian development bank the aiib provided the necessary loan to india all right then whatever resources the aiib has it uses those resources to finance the development in different regions promoting the economic growth of these asian regions so talking about what aib has done for india and what's the link between aiib and india so, India ko AIB ne bohat sare loans diye hai. More than the loans it might have given to any other member. Okay. China is its biggest shareholder and the second largest shareholder is India. AIIB ka second largest shareholder hai India ka. Jis wajay se ye kaafi support India ko provide karta raha hai. Till now, 28 projects have been funded. Okay. It had provided the necessary support for various green projects. It has supported the health initiatives during COVID. COVID ke time pe Asian development ke saath, bank ke saath milke, it provided the loans to procure the COVID doses. Then last year, it also approved the loan for expanding the metro rail system. So this is how various projects have been funded by AIIB. Now coming to the last question, there is no concept to be discussed over here, just uh, finance current. So it says, which bank has been adjusted the best private bank in India at the Global Private Banking Awards 2021 organized by Professional Wealth Management? It's basically published by the Financial Times. Okay, so it conducted this award, these awards and around 120 submissions came up. 16 judges panel was there from four continents and they were assessing which private bank is the best. And HDFC Bank has been adjusted as the best private bank. So, ye Professional Wealth Management jo hai ye ek wealth management magazine hai, which is published by Financial Times which deals in the analysis of the growth strategies of the private bank in the regional financial centers in which they operate and in this set of awards the HDFC bank is the one who has been, uh, who has been uh, provided the award for the best private bank in India. So this was all for today's session with this I would like to end up this session. Thank you so much.